if you have masking tape you might want to tape the piece of paper down to the table or another flat surface. This will stop the paper from warping when it's drying. Rub out the lines that you drew before if they were too dark. Take some of the, the pencil marks off the page just so they won't mix with the watercolour and dirty your colours. I'm starting off with the lightest colour I can see. I want to establish what the lights will look like first. This is something that I only do with watercolours because I'm not very good with watercolours and I want to be safe with them. Make sure I don't make the, the lights too dark. So most of these fleshy colours are just a mixture of the red and the yellow and different amounts of water. I haven't used any dark colours yet at all. To make the lighter colours all I'm doing is adding extra water to the paint. I am blocking in some of the shadow shapes that I had done in my drawing and I'll work the shadows towards the light side. So bring those shadows down gently, don't make them too dark all of a sudden. Even though the beard and the hair are some of the lightest things on the on the painting, they aren't completely white, so you still have to bring them right down to the grey that they are. They only look white because you're seeing them in relation to the colours that are around it, like the background here. I've made a few little mistakes in the background, I've brought the colour down too dark and I make a big mistake over here, I bring it down very dark where it's actually a little lighter but it's not the end of the world and the background is a nice cold green and then the man's jacket is a warm green so if you can show but you know the difference between the two different greens, then that's very good. And I've finished this one. It's not perfect, <laughs> but 
it's something.